biosimilars as commercially available. So India is uh, uh, quite ahead in terms of uh, most of the biosimilar products uh, from uh, either it is uh, first generation insulin to next generation insulin to uh, even the monoclonal antibodies, the cell generation proteins. So almost almost every product is either developed or under final stage of development in the country and being available to Indian patients. And they are already now getting into emerging market. The regulatory process in the developed market are getting evolved now. And as a result, once the developed process are finalized by the, the regulators in those countries, I'm pretty sure that Indian companies will also move into uh, global market with biosimilar. So I believe the way Indian companies have uh, progressed well with the small molecules and become the kind of major supplier of drugs into the world. As far as small molecules molecule is concerned, I think in future they will also be uh, the pioneering manufacturing and supplying the biosimilars in the world. Yeah. So basically, once the regulatory guidelines are published, I think our scientists are, uh, have enough knowledge to comply to those requirements and, and uh, make sure that they meet those regulatory challenges. So everything in business is always a challenge, but I believe that's not a problem. See, there is a move for ICH, which is their global harmonization of standards and ultimately followed by everybody, but every regulator feels that they are better than the others, so everybody wants to keep their freedom away. So unless there is a kind of a political resolution at the international level that yes, every regulator has the same standards, it's very difficult. Of course, countries after countries have different requirements based on the development stage of that country. But regulatory standards are also different. So harmonization is difficult, but I think if you follow the best of the standards, you meet all the other standards. I'm a friend of these uh, promoters, so that's why I'm here.